craftsmen at work, skilled masters of their trade, plying their delicate art, the Chippendales. Hi there. Well, Jeffrey's with me, and we're going to have a look at what fashions are in at your local inn. What clothes are you choosing when you go out boozing? Are you a slinky drinker or a frumpy drunk? Yes. <laughs> well, here's our Miss Malibu and Pineapple, so, Jeffrey. Well, she's a typist, Tempe, Tracy, Debbie, Susie kind of a floozy. Sexy? Essexy, <laughs> micro mini with an only a flicker. Mm. <laughs> Scoop top likes to bop. Top Ravili, white high Healy. She's a. Clothes off Peggy, fake tan, leggy kind of a girly, really. Lovely. Jeffrey, our uh, Mr. Half of Bitter. Well, half a bitter, lonely old gitter. <laughs> it's flat cap, plastic mag, not too chummy, lives with mummy. Mm. Tank top Oxfam shop. Rides a biko, could be a psycho. <laughs> Very boring, end of story. Next. Right. Well, Jeffrey, next is our Mr. Guinness. Well, stout makes you stout without a doubt. <laughs> right, he's an eight or ninety of a lunch timey. Shobby, tubby, pub grubby, chubby. Chest hairy, hairy chesty, also got a very tight vesty. Mm. <laughs> Is it a spotty, grotty builder's body? A trouser slack, builder's crack. Right. <laughs> Finally, Jeffrey, our lovely divorcee, Miss Double Gin. Well, double gin, double chin. She's dirty, flirty, well past 30. Heavy boozy, showy suzy. Mutton lammy, legs like spammy. Mm. <laughs> Chandeliers on the ears. Cheers, my dears. Bouncy, bubbly, little bit chubbly. Has to force it into a corset. Hey, diddle diddle, there's a bulge in the middle. <laughs> I'm over the moon. Well, that's all we've got time for today, but I'm sure you'll like to know before we go, what do rich, fashionable people like us like, Jeffrey? Coke. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Hi, oh, mate. Just got a watch, one of these hand-stitched belts. What'd you get? Oh, I got a watch and a uh, wallet and a nice gold ring. Look. Oh, that's great. Give your hand back. <laughs> <laughs> there. Tis finished, Your Majesty. Ah. At last. What's that? Not well, that. Yes. That's your horse. <laughs> but it's got long, floppy ears. Well, it's a thoroughbred. <laughs> and a fluffy white tail. <laughs> it's almost real, isn't it? In fact, it's a rabbit. <laughs> You've got the king of the realm sitting majestically astride a giant bunny. No, 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 it's, it's a horse. Uh, I admit I'm not very good at painting from memory. Unless it's a rabbit. portrait coming along. Ah, perhaps you can help us here. Do you notice anything wrong about this picture? No. Looks all right to me. So you don't notice anything unusual about it? <laughs> oh, yes. He's painted you with your visor down. No, he's not. <laughs> what? Why do you can't see my face? Horse looks good, though, doesn't it? <laughs> Lettuce the horse is eating. Forget about the horse. Looks like a rabbit to me. It is a rabbit. No, no, no. The horse is a horse, surely. Look, shut up about the horse. I don't care about the horse anymore. Now, you're supposed to be a portrait artist, and you painted me with my visor down. Now, what is the point? Well, faces have never been my forte, really. You're a portrait artist. It's supposed to be your forte. How's the portrait going? <sighs> Knives, kangaroo. <laughs> It's a rabbit. No, I mean, sitting on the rabbit. <laughs> That's me. 
Well, so who's the rabbit? No one, it's just a rabbit. <laughs> no, it's a horse. Where's the horse? The horse is the rabbit. Right, that's it. I've had enough. I'm going to go back over there and I want you to get rid of the bunny and to paint my face in. I want every detail right. Do you understand? OK, so you want me to paint your fat, pudgy face, your straggly moustache, your grey hair and your stumpy little legs, do you? OK, fine by me. <laughs> Actually, the rabbit's quite horse-like. <laughs> The last bloke we fell out with, right, he got decapitated. Next time we want real coffee. <laughs> right, when the Chinese arrives, I put it here. Then I take out all the little dishes and I put them in all the little dishes and I eat them like this. <laughs> right, when the Chinese arrives, I put it here. Then I take out all the little dishes and I put them in all the little dishes and then I eat them like this. <laughs> <laughs> And when the Chinese arrives, I put it over here. I put all my little dishes and all my little dishes, and I eat it like this. I thought you said you were going out. No. <laughs> you said you were. No. Ah! It's here! Yes! <laughs> Please, God, don't let me die until I've finished this meal. <laughs> it's a lovely evening, sir. Yes, thank you very Did much. Did you order a special meal for one with you? <laughs> <laughs> Right, I get the Chinese, I put it down here, and I get out all the little dishes. <laughs> little dishes. <laughs> what did you order, Gareth? Empress banquet for one. <laughs> what do you get in that, then? Oh, you get sweet sour pork, lemon chicken, egg fried rice, bean shoots, soft noodles, prawn balls, and spare ribs. <laughs> Can I have one of your spare ribs, mate? I knew it! I bloody well knew it! What did I say to you? Hey, What did I say to you? I said, Norman, do you want any Chinese? Didn't I? Didn't I? <laughs> and what did you say? <laughs> you said no! Didn't you? You did, you said no! Just a prawn ball, then. No! Come on, mate, you've got eight in there. Yes, which is exactly the right amount to last me through my bilco tape. All right, give me a mouthful of something else, then. Don't tempt me. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Gareth, you've got loads there. Just give us a few nibbles, you know, just to be going on with. <laughs> I could murder a lager. Come on, you've got six there. Yes, which is the amount that it takes to make my tummy happy. <laughs> not five, not seven, but six. <laughs> I thought friends were meant to share things. Bugger off. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now, if you're going to take that selfish attitude, then, I'll have my socks back. I'm still wearing them. I don't care. <laughs> They're my socks. No food, no socks. All right, all right. Take them. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll have the remote control to my video recorder. Yeah, as soon as I finish watching Bill Cut. No, Gareth, it's my video recorder. I want it now, right? Take it. Thank you. <laughs> Don't worry about that. It's probably for me. Great. <laughs> right, all the little dishes come today. <laughs> Mmm. Yummy, 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 yummy. <laughs> Is that a ham and mushroom topping? <laughs> Where's the prawn ball now? <laughs> Better wash it down one of these, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Now be careful. He's armed and he's got two hostages. All right, slowly.
no funny business, right? Or it's a kid's brains on the wall. Hello, you must be dead. I'm Roger. <laughs> Look, this, this is for you. I didn't know whether to get white or red. <laughs> now, you, you must be the hostages. Nice to meet you. It's Sandra and... Paul. Hello, Paul. <laughs> Put the mark around your mouth, eh? That's enough of that, right? Let's get on with it. <laughs> I tell you, Sandra, he's definitely got your eyes. Now, before we get on with anything, I simply must see the kitchen. Through here. <laughs> I do like to be relaxed with the client. I think people are always more prepared to chat over a nice plate of spag bol. <laughs> Not there, Dave. That doesn't say Dave Watson, does it? No, get over there. Right, okay, Sandra here. Paul over there. Right. Now, it's boy, girl, boy, girl. You don't mind being a girl just for the moment, do you? Good. <laughs> elbows, David. What? David, elbows. Oh. <laughs> Funnily enough, I'm especially good with violent men in their 30s. Just a gift, I suppose. <laughs> And once you've established that closeness, then people will really open up. Right, I've got a list of demands, right, so you better listen. I want a car. I want 250 grand in cash. I want a plane standing by. Oh, yes. No. I want. I want. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, Mr. Dave Watson, I want doesn't always get. Don't you think there's a few things in life I want as well? Have you seen the state of my living room carpet? Yes, Mr. Dave Watson, I want a new dishwasher. And I want a new bathroom suite. And I want somebody to come in and do my cleaning twice a week for me. Oh, I want, I want, I want. You're so damn selfish. You only think about yourself. Stop, stop, stop. I've had enough of you. Get out. Go on, get out. Get out. <laughs> That's everything. What's the matter? You're not having second thoughts, are you? Look, I'm buggered if I'm going to pay 60 quid a night and just nick the soap and towels. Come on. Hi there. My name's Dr Matthews, and I'd like to welcome you to this year's wacky fundraising. The government isn't giving us enough money a thon. Come in. <laughs> today with one of my favourite events, the sponsored bed race. So, I think everybody's ready. And it's, uh, toi, deux, un. <laughs> Come on, boy. Dr. Jardine, what's happening in your end? <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, it's absolute mayhem down here. Remember, if you want to make a donation by phone, please use this card. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, the fun here continues with our Guess the Weight competition. Let's <laughs> 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 all go! Come on! <laughs> It's uh, Peter, is this? Yeah, hello. <laughs> want to say hello to anybody? Yeah, I want to give my wife all my love. Well, you won't be doing that for the next couple of weeks, mate, because you're here for the sponsor circumcision. <laughs> 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 Milligrams of insulin, 25. Milligrams of morphine, 66. Yes! And it's bingo to the man with a poorly figure. Here, Dr. 
the John in. <laughs> yes, thank you very much indeed. I've got to tell you, we're having an absolutely loopy time down here. Especially old Shaky. <laughs> absolutely everybody's enjoying the time. Yeah, we're ready for you to operate now, Doctor. He's a nut of that guy. <laughs> anyway, that's all we've got time for now, but uh, we're going to finish off with my favourite event of the weekend, the 24-hour Operation-a-thon, where <laughs> fellow surgeons and myself attempt to do as many operations as we can within 24 hours. That's right, 24 hours. <laughs> Charity, call us crazy, but we're going to do it in a wind tunnel. <laughs> Turn it on. Right hand down a bit. Right hand down a bit. Now, steady, steady. Bring it. That's it. That's it. Now, as you go, as you go. As you come in here. <laughs> Um, excuse me. Excuse me. I... Bush? Yes, excuse me. I wonder. I wonder if you could tell us where to find a toilet. Excuse. Toilet. Toilet. Yes. Toilet. Yes. Miguel. No, 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 no. You see? Miguel. No, you don't understand. You see, my wife. My wife? No, she's my wife. My wife? Yes, my wife. My wife, Doilet, welcome. No, you see, we've been on a coach for three hours. Blondies. And... Blondies, yes. What? Blondies. My wife, Blondies, yes. <laughs> Listen, darling, do you know a Spanish word that might sound like toilet? Oh. Lavabo. Lavabo. Oh, lover boy. Eh? <laughs> now listen here, sunshine. 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 A swim at home. A bikini. My wife swims. Schneis. My wife doilers Miguel. Come, swims. <laughs> darling, let's forget it. Yes. Forget it. Yes, forget it. Forget it. Well, thank you for your time. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Do it, let's my wife. Bye bye. <laughs> bye bye. Your food is ready. Yeah, I'll be there in a minute. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Paris the Prophets, where tonight. Brother Jeremiah has a problem. That's right, Brother Nathan. I have sinned. I have shamed myself before the omnipotent one. Let your depraved load, brother. Confess your sinful abominations to me and all the other good people watching parades the prophets. Why, this morning, Brother Nathan, I awoke and... And? Be brave now, my sick, twisted brother. I woke this morning and Satan was working his evil in my gym jammies. <laughs> and tell me, brother, how did Lucifer manifest himself within your paisley pajama? Upon the temple of my loins, the prince of darkness had built a steeple. <laughs> shalt not rise in the glory of the morning. I'm a sinner. I have sinned. Repent, brother. Bow your head and pray for forgiveness. I'm bowing my head and I'm praying. Seek his guidance. Mm. Oh, yeah, I hear you, sir. Oh, yes, I hear I will do that thing. What did the big guy say to you, brother? He was giving me a holy mission. And what is that mission, brother? to drive Satan from the Jim Jammies of mankind. <laughs> Brother, tell me, how can we help those others like you? The wayward ones with the wayward worms before they burn in hell. <laughs> if you suffer from the inflation of your polar procreation, <laughs> send $100 now to praise the prophet so that I might build an erection 
Erection Correction Center. <laughs> Just $100 for erection correction. Call 1-800-PROFITS. All major credit cards accepted. We'll make your mountain into a molehill. <laughs> erection Correction for lustful protection. <laughs> I wonder, is it really true? What's that? <laughs> Eastern women drive the men wild in bed. Yeah, yeah, it's true, man, like, cos, uh, you know, I used to go out with an Eastern lady, you know. And she drove me wild in bed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what did she do? She used to eat crisps and that. <laughs> Caramel paddle in a chocolate canoe. Spanish speaking seagull turns into a turnip, stick him in an Irish stew. To kangaroos marry in leap year. Life is so strange, oh dear. Spotlight watching his pupils dilate. Psychedelic wardrobe watching Tony Curtis open in the garden fate. I need an easy line, so ABC. Life is so strange to me. For putting your left sock on first Knees up Salvador Dali's a trombone and no returns Car horn, trumpet, doorbell in my head Where has all the flower gone, the baker said And the sitars play Hanging cucumber on washing line. Cucumber. Copulating rhinos, playing snakes and ladders, puffing on their ten wood lines. Sir Edmund Hillary, are you getting high? Life is so strange to my mind's eye. And my no. Left, right, left, right. Get your bleeding egg cut. Mind the gap. Hey! Tap dancing lobsters on the black pool towel to the rhythm of a crazy cop. Goodbye. Goodbye. Stand clear, everybody.